guys, Takara here. Welcome back to my channel. We are now on episode 4 of season 6 of Supernatural. Let's get straight into it. Oh, we've got some witchy magic going on. Uh oh. Oh, it's Bobby doing it. What are you doing, Bobby? <laughs> what a dick. What a dick this guy is. Cheer up, mate. We just saved the sodding world together. Wait, when is, when is this? Is this right after? Save the sorting world together. And you're too good to drink with me? Nice, Obviously. Bobby, nice. What's your poison, your highness? Craig, age 30 years at least. Been drinking it since grade school. I got old rot gut, age six days. A swill like that is gonna burn a hole in your soul. Oh, sorry, my soul. But that's why you call our little deal. It's about time you hold up your end and give it back. Yeah. Give it back. Our deal was... We ice Lucifer. You rip up the lease. No. You didn't read your contract. The hell are you talking about contract? Paragraph 18, subsection B. I only have to make best efforts to give you back your soul. Meaning, I'd like to, but I can't. You lion sacker. Ten years. I fucking knew it, you know. You come to death. I figured you'd say that. So you can rot here till you change your mind. <laughs> Really? What am I going to do? He doesn't look scared. No. Doggy breath. Bracing, isn't it? Balls in your coat, Robert. Just, just ten years, I'll be fine. Just take the bloody hound away. This ain't over. I wouldn't have it any other way. He's so cocky, isn't he? So, so cocky. I kind of like it. Oh, I hate him messing with Bobby, though. Too far. Yeah. What happened? You fallen can't get up? Hilarious. I right, check your wang. I'll vintage. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we need an ID ASAP. Dean, I'm a little busy. Well then kick Bo Derek out of your bathtub. We got a case here. I'll call you back. He works so hard, Bobby, as well. I feel like he doesn't get enough credit. Like look how many hours he's doing now. You're hunting a llama up. Come again? As a monster. Juice his hearts, chugs the blood. How do we gag it? Uh, there's a couple of ways. Easiest is a silver knife blessed by a padre. Gotcha. Another silver knife, okay. Look, and then that's all he did. Took the information and hung up. So not respectful at all, Dean. On Crowley's name. His real name. Back when he was flesh and blood. Does tying demons up in your basement make you feel better about that time you killed your wife? What's that? You don't recognize them. They're yours. What is it? It's lighting on fire. It won't work. It's a myth. Then you got nothing to worry about. Ah! I can't! Oh! It's like it's working for you. He's the king. King of the Crossroads, the I've king. heard the speech. No. King of Hell. So she hell. works for Crowley. Wait. Hey? Crowley's the King of Hell? Has he got a fancy lady? Did he just check his breath? Where's he? Bobby Sayer, how long have we been neighbors? Six months. Well, don't you think it's time you welcomed me to the neighborhood? It's a stupid horror flicks. My wood chipper, it's a piece of crap. You know, it just broke down on me, and, and I hear that you're quite handy. Maybe you could come over and take a look. You know, just whenever. Oh, see what I can do. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and that's awkward. Crowley's name! Okay! Okay! McLeod! Uh-huh. He works so hard. You gotta help me bury your body. Yay! God, we've seen him for ages. So the son of a bitch's name is Fergus McLeod? I wonder how many things are buried the on this one. son of a bitch's one. name. Where are you gonna look? Scotland. I can make a few calls. Well, I ain't asking great. for no help. I'm not asking for your permission. Just doesn't catch a break, does no. it? What's another way to kill a Lamia? Or what happened to the silver knife blessed by a priest? It didn't pan out. What's plan B? Right. 
Come on, Bobby, get the lead out. Where are you? The church. In a rectory. Is there a kitchen? Yeah. Find salt and rosemary. Open up, singer. See, if you didn't have a up on him Major in the first Adam. place, you're all you right. Sheriff Mills? We do indeed know oh. Sheriff Mills. My mom, just a sec. How long have I been arresting you now? Ten years? Thereabouts. Yeah, we got a history. So, what do you say you just let me scope the place out? Is that okay? You can just wait outside. Five minutes. Great. Five minutes to scope this entire plot because not a good chance. Why did you send him outside? Because I didn't think you'd want him in here. I don't. I've got a body in the basement. My point. Yeah, but I've got another body buried in the yard. Damn it. Not good. Not good. I love that this is like a Bobby centric episode. I'm enjoying it. Ooh, about that. Am I um, explaining this? Kami ain't dead. Of course it is. Did you use a bamboo dagger? Yeah. Did you stab it seven times? Five times. It's seven. What was <laughs> it feeding on when you found it? Single white females. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bobby? Where's your bedroom? to make an impression isn't it i thought your chipper was broke I just she looks that like carrie over here right. i guess i could come over for dinner some night i don't think so i don't think so <laughs> story of my life listen uh bobby um thank you at least he said thank you more than dean and sam's done crowley had a son did he now dean you all right it's sam bobby he's just he's different but i didn't I got another call. You what? Just hang on. I gotta take this. It's important. Rufus? The good news is I snagged the ring, Bobby. However... Tell me that ain't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three guesses and one of them that ain't your paramedics. Listen, Bobby, I, I gotta stash this ring. But don't swallow it. Right. I'm swallowing it, Bobby. What's he gonna do now? Still there, Dean. Bobby, what the hell? You know, you were the one person that I could talk to about this stuff, about, about Sam. Yeah, but he has his own life too, Dean. It, it just ain't a good time. Yeah, okay, you know what? Forget it. Seriously, though, a little selfish. Not all about you. Oh, yeah, because it's always about him? Wait, no, it's not. You're on speaker, Bobby. Sam? Dean? I love you like my own. I do. But sometimes you two are the whiniest, most self-absorbed sons of bitches I ever met. I'm selfish? Me? I do everything for you. Everything. Preach it, Bobby. Preach it. You call me, and I come through. Every damn time. And what do I get for it? Jack with a side of squat. So how about you two sack up and help me for once? Yes. Yes. They needed to hear that. Anything you need, we're there. It's a shame he had to vent like that to get what he needed, but it is what it is. Has she changed her mind? Miss me? How did you... Don't ask. Oh, be careful, Bobby. You're messing with a bad guy here. Real bad guy. Mate, you Fergus McLeod's boy. I'm a bit nervous for him here because he's messing with the big boys. Word on the street is that ever since Lucifer went to the pokey, you're the big kahuna downstairs. I want my soul back, Egypt. Afraid not. But I'm surly and I got a beard. Guinea. Good impression there, uh -huh. Crowley. Is that you? I love you so. Is he acting? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I kind of kind of sense that. Boy, that's it, right? I gotta give you credit for thinking outside the box on that one, but problem is i loathe the little bastard i was just using him to dig up dirt on you hiya crowley we're in your neck of the woods the whole burning bones thing it's a myth i know an employee of yours who disagree so it is if they burn their own bones that definitely gives them a one-up and your bones 
for my soul. Oh gosh. Quite. Bollocks. <laughs> you can go ahead and leave in the part about my legs. Pleasure doing business with you. Yes, then. Maybe I'll just napalm your ass anyhow. Dean. He's a dick. But a deal's a deal. I don't need you to fight my battles for me, Moose. Moose? Is that gonna stick now? We've been cleaning up our messes for years, probably. And without you, I don't even want to think about where me and Sam would ended up. That's nice to hear. It is really nice okay, to hear. Okay, then. Let's roll credits on his chick flick. He finally gets to dig in now. Oh, you've got to be kidding. This poor dude. I guess work just doesn't stop for him, Rose. does it? Poor guy. Okay, so first things first, I'm a realist. And apart from that, I think that this was a really, really strong episode. And I love the fact that Bobby got some screen time and it was all about him. Because like this episode showed, he's so underrated and he's, he's taken for granted so often because he does all of this work, not just for the boys, a whole load of hunters and people that are in on the supernatural secret. I'm what does he get for it? Literally nothing. Nothing. No thanks. No anything. So to see Rufus say thank you, to see the sheriff sort of say thank you in helping and the boys finally apologising for their actions and being kind of selfish a lot of the time. It was just good to see. I really enjoyed it. I think Bobby is just one of those characters that just I'm attached to in a big way. He's got such a big heart. And yes, he doesn't like to show his emotions or ask for help and, and all the rest of it, but there's just something about him that I just love so much. He's such a sweetheart. Like you say, he, he does all of these things selflessly to help the greater good. He doesn't get thanks for it, yet he continues to do it. He works really, really hard. He has to dodge the law constantly. He has a million phones that he has to answer 24-7. When he was late answering the phone, Dean starts giving him shit about it. I was like, what? Like, he has a life of his own, he's got his own issues and his own problems. Just like in this episode, when he does have problems, he solves them. Without him, like Dean said, we don't know where they would be. Because he's helped them so many times. I just love him so much, guys. He's such a good character. I'm glad that he got one over on Crowley because he is the king of hell right now, I guess. Which is a bit of a plot twist since Lucifer's demise. I don't know what's happened to Lucifer, so. And obviously Dean is still worried about Sam. I do think he has a right to be worried. There's something there. Definitely something there. Don't know what it is, but hopefully we'll find out later on in the season. It was a good one. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to. But there's no pressure here. And I hope to see you all again soon for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.